Good to see you again. Bye, then. Goodbye. In case you're wondering... I wasn't. How is it you described us? We had fun, no ties, no questions. You sound almost disappointed. Don't worry, Marcus is just a business associate. Nothing more. Oh. What a relief. I take it your friend's gone. Marcus? Yeah, he's very good, actually. I'm thinking of offering him a job. Yours. I wasn't aware I was leaving. What did you think might happen when I found out what you've been up to? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. Turns out Joe's the boy who won't die. You can't prove this is Joe. Could be anyone. It's clearly him, Graham. Which means you lied again. There never was a body to dispose of because he was never dead. And not only is he alive, he's been sunning himself at my expense. <clears throat> How did you find out? He was drawing money out of my account from a cash point in Monte Carlo. I mean, it's hardly the stuff of MI6. I meant... How did you know to look? Because I know you remember. I could tell you were hiding something. Anyway, Marcus confirmed it for me, along with his precise location and the hotel room he's staying in. Was staying in. I decided it might be shrewd to move him on. What? You're not the only one with eyes and ears out there. You're lying. Am I? Do you honestly think I'd put Joe into harm's way again? Oh. Spoken like a true hero. If you hadn't let Cain believe he'd killed him. Yeah. Seems you're not the only one with a ruthless streak. <laughs> Don't get big-headed. Joe might be out of my reach. But you're not. 